Well, I think the state of the art of the RA industry is very healthy. I think if you look at trends over the last 10, 15, 20 years and continue through today, there's definitely a trend out of the wire houses and into the independent channels and increasingly to the RIA channel, uh, which is where they act as a fiduciary of the 1940 Act. And I think that trend will continue and I think the Department of Labor proposal uh, you know, will create complications, particularly for those in the wire houses and the broker-dealer model uh, with, when they're dealing with IRA accounts. And I, but I think the RAs are very well positioned uh, to manage through that and, and thrive in that environment. Uh, well, I don't think the regulatory change is going to create hurdles. I think it, it's going to create impetus because I do think they're going to have to change the way they operate. Uh, and it's going to be cumbersome, I believe, when you're dealing with a registered account or a non-registered account. It makes it a very bifurcated world, which is a difficult world for a broker-dealer to work through. But if you're working under the 40 Act and as a pure fiduciary, I think it's a much more manageable thing. When it comes to robo-advice, it's not obvious to me that a pure robo, like a pure digital one, uh, is going to scale and be successful. However, having said that, a combination of so what they've done, what we've learned from them in terms of using technology and the experience in the automation of processes is really relevant. Uh, and I do think they have to embrace that technology and some of the technologies that robos are providing. Well, I, you know, I, I continue to say, you know, the trends are in their favor. I always tell our, our management team, we invest into the secular trends, and there's a secular trend towards independence, and there's a secular trend towards uh, the RA model, and I don't think that's going to change. So I think there continues to be a good growth opportunity. I think, secondly, uh, when you're, you're basically acting in the best interest of the client, that's always the best place to to position yourself and to uh, work with clients and to be successful in the market, particularly in this environment where the financial services industry uh, and the banks in particular have a bit of a black eye uh, coming out of the 2008 uh, recession.